Nina Arianda, Sam Rockwell and the cast of Fool for Love will soon begin previews on The Great White Way. We're here today to find out all about the Manhattan Theatre Club's revival of Sam Shepard's sexually charged 1982 play. But what can audiences expect from Fool for Love if they know nothing about the play? I think it's, um, it's, a, it's a love story. It's a short play. It's only 90 minutes. Um, so you can be at dinner nice and quickly. At the bar by 9.40 probably. And, uh, it's about it's about love and tequila. Yeah, it's set uh, near the Mojave Desert in a in a pretty dank uh, motel room, uh, where Nina's character May is uh, uh, tr tried to disappear herself from her uh, lover, played by Sam, and uh, he finds her, and the, and so the play begins. You obviously did this character at Williamstown. What's it like to revisit her? It's exciting. It really is exciting. Uh, New York kind of informs it in a different way and the pace and the the environment and and it's just exciting simply to go back to the text and revisit it yeah it must be great working with this cast oh my god it's like levitation yeah the rehearsal's been a lot of fun you know uh sam and nina are, are firing on all cylinders and uh they work uh, really well together now, i feel so lucky to be working with sam and nina and gordon and tom and uh it's the sort of play that leaves, uh, there's, there's no room to hide. And as an actor, um, it's incredibly exposing and it's really a high wire act of acting that they're all doing. Why do you think Fool for Love speaks to people? Well, I think it speaks to people in the sense that, you know, I guess if you strip it down, it's just a play about two people who are very much in love with a lot of extenuating circumstances that prevent them maybe from being able to express that love or share that love in a way that makes them feel healthy or safe or good or accepted by society. I think it reflects other things in our society, whether, whether we're talking 1982 or 2015, things that we need to have conversations about, things that we need to witness. What do you hope audiences take away with them from seeing this show? I hope audiences feel like they've experienced a really uh, visceral event that something really happened in that room. I just hope people are m moved and think that's all I can ask for. What can audiences expect from this show? Because it's a sexy play, is it not? No? Yeah, it is. I mean, I, I think the play is sexy. It's very, it's very dangerous too. Yeah, I'd say there's some naughtiness in it, some tequila and some stuff going on. Yeah. I think it's pretty sexy. I think it's a pretty sexy show. Yeah. And I think more than anything, it is as said in the preface of the show, it is absolutely relentless. 